Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to revisit something that I did on my channel like six years ago. I've explained before that I've had to let go of several videos that I wish I could have kept on my channel. I didn't think anything about just plugging Bruno Mars or something right in the middle. The point is I had to get rid of this video. I wish I didn't. So I'm going to redo it for you now six years later, and I don't remember what my answers were six years ago. So see, there's 21 questions and it's all related to the first time for something. Do you still talk to your first love? Yeah. <laughs> I think he wishes that I'd shut up because he's more interested in the television now. But yes, uh, my first love Mr. is Shy Guy. Guy, and I am married to him. <laughs> Number two, what was your first job? Oh, I almost said it was Ponderosa. That was my first, like, get a working permit. Your parents give you permission. You go there, what people think of as a first job. Uh, but that actually wasn't my first job because we're talking about things that you've been paid to do, right? And I was paid to teach baton, you know, majorette. Yeah. I twirled from the time I was a little girl until I graduated from high school. And I feel like I've answered or said this before, but the reason that I taught baton, even though I wasn't an adult, was because my teacher recognized that you have an advantage if you can stand in front of the person and mirror for them. Okay, now a lot of baton teachers would have to come around behind the pupil and bring their arms around them and show them. But I didn't have to do that. The person I have to thank for this, her name's Penny. She was the majorette of my high school. <laughs> and she taught baton for this woman who, she had a twirling studio, right? And Penny was a teacher for her because she was the majorette of the band. So Obviously, she knows what she's doing, right? So my teacher hired Penny to teach, and Penny was teaching me. So Penny, being a young teenager in high school, <laughs> she would bring her boyfriend along with her to teach, and Penny was paying more attention to her boyfriend than she was me. So my parents paid for me to be taught how to twirl backwards. So when I went to my new teacher, who you had to try out for. When I tried out for the new teacher, we discover that I'm doing it all wrong. I'm doing it backwards. I had a really hard time because I had to start over and learn everything the right way. <laughs> but because I could do everything the wrong way, that enabled me to be able to stand in front of a pupil and show them without having to come behind them. And, you know, I could just stand in front of the person and do it backwards and that would mirror what they were supposed to be doing. And so that made me a really good teacher. I made $10 an hour. Of course, you know, I didn't work but just a couple of hours, so it really wasn't that much, but I loved telling my friends that I make $10 an hour. And then I would take my friends over to the Woolworth and promptly spend it all on them. <laughs> Number three says, what was your first car? A 1969 Impala. Impala. It was white with a vinyl blue roof and we called that thing a boat. I was really kind of embarrassed of that car. At the time, my mom and dad were like, they're thinking ahead like any good parent would. You know, but me, I want the Nova or the Cheval, a Camaro, you know, something like that. I did not want this ugly family boat, but I wish I had it back today. I really do. <laughs> Number four says, who was the first person to text you today? And, you know, it's nothing exciting. It was actually CVS. That would be my son. I wish they would leave me alone. Number five, who's the first person that you thought of this morning? Um, my, my son. son. Because I wondered if he was home yet, because uh, he works the third shift, and I didn't remember the alarm uh, buzzing on my wrist, and I wondered if he was home yet. Number six wants to know who my first grade teacher was. Her name was Miss Robinson. Robinson. She had short black hair. She was really petite, and I loved Miss Robinson. So imagine how mortified I was when I had to go to the hall. I remember that? Remember when you were in school and they made you go to the hall or the corner? I had to go to the hall and stand out there. It was very embarrassing because she caught me cheating on the spelling test. Want to know what the word was? Cat. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was K-A-T or C-A-T. Number seven, where did you go on your first airplane ride? I think, I hope I didn't get this wrong. I think 
Melbourne, Florida. Okay, my first airplane ride was actually just a little plane. And it was just a little quick trip, just boom, over to Ohio. We had a hotel right on the beach. It's like you go down the elevator and you're like on the beach. And I think the sand was white. And I just really enjoyed that. But yeah, I think it was Melbourne, Florida. Number eight, who was your first best friend? And do you still talk to him or her? Well, yes. Um, she lived, lived across, across the, the street. street. We played together from as far back as my memory goes. Uh, her name was Tush. I still do talk to her today. We watch out for each other's moms. Her mom's been a widow for a while, but with her and my mom both getting older, uh, yeah, we still talk to each other because I go over to help my mom and she goes over to help hers and we see each other all the time. So yeah, I do. Fine. Where was your first sleepover? Her name was Tracy. Probably at my grandma's house was probably my very first sleepover. She had a birthday party. We were allowed to go spend the night. There's a few things I remember about Tracy. <laughs> One was that she had uh, was getting acne really bad, okay? And she wanted to know, because I've always had clear skin, she wanted to know, like, what do you put on your face? What do you wash your face with? What do you, you know, put on your face? Because she wanted her skin to be like mine. And I told her, because I honestly thought this was the reason, I told her that it was because I used Palm's cocoa butter <laughs> on my face. Do I need to tell you that her acne got worse? <laughs> okay, it did. It got worse. I don't think you can tell by looking at me here, but I'm not a very big boned uh, girl. <laughs> I'm carrying way too much weight on my little bones. <laughs> okay, but um, so I was littler, uh, shorter, littler feet, and she had these earth shoes. And do you remember they had the earth shoes and then they had rockers? Remember earth shoes that had like the rockers bottoms? Well, she had rockers and I wanted some. So she gave me a pair of suede ones that were hers, but they were too big and I'd have to stick Kleenex. That really doesn't have anything to do with anything, does it? No, it does not. <laughs> She had a birthday party. Uh, she was allowed to have a bunch of girls spend the night. I was one of those girls. And, you know, that was where we did the stuff like, you know, putting toothpaste in somebody's hand and tickling their nose so that they get toothpaste all, you know, you know, all those pranky things that happened at that sleepover. Number 10, who is the first person that you talked to today? My, my son. son. <laughs> I talked to my son uh, when he got home from work. Number 11, whose wedding were you in for the first time? That, that question isn't phrased right. I think it wants to know who's the first wedding I was ever in. Uh, I almost said the wrong thing. My brother. When my brother got married, I was one of the bridesmaids. It was my aunt and my uncle's wedding because I was their flower girl. Ooh, I wonder if I can find, yeah, the basket that I had the rose petals in. And I would put one little petal at a time as I went down the aisle. And then as a gift, after the wedding, for being the flower girl, they gave me the, this pearl necklace, and I still have that little pearl necklace. I'll see if I can find it. Number 12, what was the first thing that you did this morning? Well, that was go to the bathroom. <laughs> Kiss my son goodbye. Normally, I'm awake a little bit before I go to the bathroom. But having to go to the bathroom is what woke me up. So, is that TMI? <laughs> That was the first thing that I did this morning was go to the bathroom. <laughs> Number 13, what was the first concert that you ever went to? Pretty sure it was Johnny Osmond. Osmond. And my daddy was laughing. He was looking at me and he was kind of laughing at me because I was, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. And I'm crying and carrying on. And my dad just thought that was so cute, I guess. <laughs> Him and mom, you know, <laughs> they took me to see Donnie Osmond. So I guess that would have been my very first concert. I also saw Elvis Presley in concert. Number 14, first broken bone. I almost lied and said I've never broke a bone, but I sure did. During quarantine, I broke two toes. First I broke one and then before it could even heal, I broke another one. <laughs> so my toe, actually my, my big, big toe. toe. I broke my big toe on my right foot back when I was an x-ray tech. I've never broke a major bone. It's always been my feet because I walk into things. Do you guys believe that? <laughs> can you believe that I can't walk, that I walk into everything? Of course you can. And during quarantine, I broke the second toe on my right foot 
um, because I was dancing like a stripper in the kitchen and hit the island with it barefoot and broke it. And I didn't set it good. You can kind of tell it was broke. And then like two weeks later, I was walking through the living room and ran right into the coffee table. So on my left foot, then I broke the little piggy who stayed home. <laughs> I ran into the coffee table. 15, first piercing. These holes right here. That would be my ears. I only have two piercings. I have these first holes here. That happened when I was 10. And the second holes, those happened when I was 50. On my 50th birthday, me and my BFF from high school went and got my second piercing because she couldn't talk me into a tattoo. 16 is first foreign country. I don't think I've been anywhere but Mexico. Mexico on my honeymoon. Yeah, I've barely been around the United States. <laughs> Number 17, first movie that you remember seeing in theaters. And the first one that popped in my head was Jaws. And now we arrive to the reason the video had to be thrown out in the first place. <laughs> I did say Jaws six years ago, but that answer's not right. I said Jaws because it was my first movie without an adult. And then I told the story. <laughs> and six years ago, I thought it was really cool that I could pull things inside of my videos. And so I proceeded to not only add the da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, <laughs> from the soundtrack, but also put in an entire movie clip showing what I was scared about in the movie. And then if that wasn't bad enough, I decided that I would go ahead and tell you guys another story about Harper Valley PTA and bring that song in also. So copyright, 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 and there you have it. Now, on with the real answer. I think it was Peter Pan. I think my aunt took me to see Peter Pan. Now I gotta watch the old version and see what I said and see if my memory's getting worse. I think it was Peter Pan. All right, number 18, when was your first detention? A detention would be like, if you had to like spend time in the office, you know, right? Is that what a detention means to you? Let's find out. What is school detention? According to Student Engagement Project, University of Nebraska-Lincoln, detention is a consequence in which students are required to remain in a presumably undesirable place for a specified amount of time outside of school hours. Okay, so that would be the, the thing right there, outside of school hours. I never had detention. Oh, I never had detention. Now I've been sent to a corner or a box. <laughs> this teacher had a refrigerator box. Everything's so dang politically correct today. I can't imagine if you did this today, but she had a refrigerator box and she brought it in and cut the back out of it so that it was against the chalkboard <laughs> and put a desk inside of it. Okay. And there was like a cut out door that you open and shut on the front. If you were bad, you had to go inside the refrigerator box and sit at that desk. Stupid lady, that's exactly where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the box where no one could see what I was doing and write on the chalkboard back there and play instead of doing what I was supposed to do. So every day, I was purposefully getting into trouble so that I would have to go get in the refrigerator box. <laughs> So that kind of thing happened all the time, but I was never held after school. So I guess I never really had a detention in the true sense of the word. So number 19 says, who was your first roommate? Well, that would have been my aunt. aunt. <laughs> my aunt came to live with us when she was 13. And so first I shared a bedroom with my aunt. And then after she moved away and got married, I shared a bedroom with my sister. So my first roommate was my aunt. Number 20 says, what was the first lesson that you ever took? Baton lessons. Number 21, who was the first beauty related person that you watched on YouTube? Easy, Easy. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill. Hill. Jacqueline Hill was the first person that I watched. Uh, it was right about the time I turned 50 and I started wearing makeup again. And I hadn't wore makeup for many years because I was raising my kids and, you know, we're not made of money around here. It took all of our money to raise the kids and stuff. And I didn't spend, you know, excess money on myself. In fact, for a long time, I wore Shy Guy's clothes because, I mean, I had scrubs while I was at the hospital. We didn't go anywhere. So I would wear his jeans and flannel shirts around the house <laughs> and I didn't wear makeup. And by the time it got to the point where I was wearing makeup again, I put on the makeup and went, whoa, it doesn't look good anymore. 
And you know, some days I still have that day. So I searched on the internet how to do eyeshadow. And I wasn't specific. I just said how to do eyeshadow. And the first video that popped up was this green eye that I thought, oh, that looks so beautiful. I want to do that. And followed that link to YouTube where I found Jaclyn Hill and proceeded to watch and buy everything she said. <laughs> And then sometime later, you know, found everything else. But yeah, Jacqueline Hill was the first one. Okay, then I hope you enjoyed that. And if you'd like to share your answers to the questions below, I'd love to read them. And yeah, hope you guys know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go be a blessing to somebody else. Until next time. Love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out. So who was the first person? No. I thought that said number 12. Who was the first person you did this morning? Not the neighbor. <laughs> so if you arrived here thinking I was actually going to tell you about my first time, you know? La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Not singing the words. And they'd be like, mm -mm. when no one was looking. She was telling my mom, she was like, I'm breaking it to you softly that your daughter does everything wrong. She killed me softly with her words about my twirling. Number 11, whose wedding were you in for the first time? What? Is that like they got married again and again and so then I was in their wedding the second time and the third time too? <laughs> Next to him with the baby toe. What is that toe? This piggy went to the market, this piggy... Stayed home, this little piggy had roast beef, this little piggy had none. Yeah, this little piggy, wee, wee, wee. First foreign country. Mm. Texas. No, <laughs> it, it, it seems like it's its own country, right?